And good morning. Welcome to First Local for Tuesday, January the 12th. I'm Chris Olcorn here with Colette Linden. How's it going? It's going. It's icy out there. Uh, that was quite an interesting I did walk a out of the front of my apartment this morning. <laughs> Oh man, I wish I saw that. You're oh. so coordinated as is. Yeah, <laughs> it was great. Coffee in one hand, water in the other, laptop bag. You're so high maintenance, dude. Like, just get water when you get to work. Apparently, the building manager does not get up at, uh, oh, I don't know, 6.15 ish to sand the walkway for when I walk out. <laughs> Maybe and you it's can do cement. That. It's not asphalt, which makes it even slippier. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So whatever. I just basically went and then waited till I stopped. Did you make that sound effect too? My shoes did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm wearing my little. I'm only wearing yeah. three inch heels. I have to start so wearing spikes in the morning. That's right. You wear your spikes. Well, you know what? It's so it's so spicy out. It's, I meant to say it's so icy out that uh, it's not <laughs> spicy. It's cold out there. <laughs> spicy tacos. Like spicy tacos. tacos. It all comes full yeah. circle with us. School transportation <laughs> is canceled today in the central Algoma area due to those spicy icy roads mm -hmm. so um, if your children are not at home with uh, you or at the house doing their online learning well they're walking to work or you're driving or you're walking to school or you're driving them maybe you guys walk to work wow i would never did we get rid of child labor laws or something <laughs> coming up in the news no more child labor laws <laughs> way to go chris yeah you can have your issue. kid bagging groceries at walmart <laughs> so the premier and the prime minister are talking today yes and the premier we'll get to that one in a minute but the prime minister is up at like 11 15 11 30 which we'll be carrying live here at on tv daily once a month press conference <laughs> his daily once a month or he's pepping for a cabinet shuffle today too yes apparently there's gonna be a minor shuffle yeah sometime. yeah the, um um Bain is not coming back for the election, so I think it's Champagne that might be taking over for his post. So we'll see what yeah, happens who's there. Who's going to take over for Champagne? Uh, Garneau. Oh, yeah. You yeah. thought you had me on that, eh? I know. Yay. Yeah, no, it's a nice. little morning quiz there. Nice try. We'll get to another quiz in and a second. I, and it's an A plus for Colette and the Premier. Yes. What do you think is going to happen today? State of emergency. I think they'll just continue the lockdown. They're not going to do a curfew. No, uh, they're not. One, I think one of the reasons Ford's not going to do it is he obviously talked to, I'm guessing, legal experts who would tell him that he actually can't do it. Yeah, um, we've had this discussion. Yeah, we've had this discussion time, yeah. a couple times. Um, he can put it in, but it would just get thrown out by the Ontario Supreme Court. Uh, I or think it's the going to cause Supreme mass Court. chaos if yeah. we do that. And, and, and we've seen elsewhere in the world curfews actually don't work. They actually cause a spike in cases because you push more people Rushing at the same time into to the, the store. same yeah. area in a shorter period of time. It's better if you can space it out. They did so that in Britain very, with the pubs, right? Yes, they did. And they shoved everybody out onto the transit at 10 p.m. at night instead of letting them leave between 10 and 1 a.m. Yeah. Uh, and then they saw a real spike in cases. So I'm glad that Ford is looking at other places in the world and yeah. seeing like, oh, maybe we want our stores open until 10 and not until 8 because we can space it out on how many people are going out mm -hmm. which means you're coming in contact with less people once yeah. again the less people you come in contact with the less chance that COVID-19 can spread so it's a smart decision not to do the curfews the lockdowns obviously um it's going to continue uh, until that'll February continue for sure yeah till February most I think likely. it's going to continue forever so, at this point yeah but. um yeah so you can register your kid for oh yeah uh, about that. kindergarten if you'd like um with the Huron Catholic Spirit District School Board you're getting good at remembering that yes yeah, mm -hmm. so I got that down now uh, only took me like three weeks. Um, the <laughs> okay, no, it was really only three days. But um, <laughs> was the, it? he had prep time. He's I lying prep, to you. Yeah. Oh, what is it again? So you can register for your kid for kindergarten. Uh, there's no certainty if they'll ever get there, um, but you can <laughs> register. So the Huron Catholic School Board would like you to go to either to our website, click on the link, go right through, right through to the registration page, or you can go straight to their website, click on the registration link, and register your kid for kindergarten. Also, if you have a kid going into a different grade, you can also register them as well for this coming September. Mm -hmm. um, fingers to, crossed, they might be in class. And thanks to Casey Security for keeping us safe in your sponsorship. I know and Algoma there's been a Marketplace for keeping us oh full food. Oh my God, we are oh on my point goodness, we are today. On fire this morning. Okay, baby names. Okay. Tara released the top five baby names, male and female. Okay. Give me one of the names on the I already know list. one of them. It's Olivia. That would be the number one. Okay. Okay. And I cheated on that one, but... Oh, you cheated. Okay, mm -hmm. give me one of those two to five. What do you... Oh. What have your friends named their kid this year? Or last year? I'm going to go with Dante's classroom mates because I feel okay, like they're more it. progressive than my friends right now. Ava. That's number four. You got Give it? me a hand. Give me the first letter. Uh, one has something to do with the web. Charlotte. Yes. E.B. White. We were talking about E.B. White this morning. Mm -hmm. Author of Charlotte's Web. Yeah. Okay, um, what are the other two? This is a half I an really hour show. Don't, you got to spit them. I don't know. <laughs> I have nothing than the other two. Emma and what? Sophie. Oh, those are yeah, beautiful so Olivia, names. Charlotte, Emma, Ava, Where's and Colette? Sophie. Where's uh, Colette? It'll be in there next year. It'll be in there probably number one next year. 
um, <laughs> the next yeah. decade might yeah. Or if old names come back at some oh point. Oh my Whoa, God. Slam. Okay. They start naming I bet kids you after Victorian arrows. Like, I don't know. Oh, fictional my characters. lord. My lady. My, my lady, my grace. <laughs> as we talked yesterday about Bridgerton. Okay, boys. Oh, this is easy. Okay, the first one. Is it like, it's got to be like Ethan or Advent. Nope. Michael. E Ethan was five. Um, think of boat filled with animals. Noah? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay. Um, how, about, how about Connor and Dante? My boys' names. Are they nope. on there? Nope. No, that's okay because uh, they're original. They're, they're OGs. Yeah. Okay, give me another hint. Uh, tie, lead character in One Tree Hill, played by Chad Michael Murray. What the Murray. hell is One Tree Hill? There's a... <laughs> I don't know. No, it was like man. the OC. Or okay, Dawson's what about Creek. a Jacob or a Jonathan nope. or a Joshua? Nope. So the one from One Tree Hill is Lucas. Lucas. That's um, a nice name. And then there's a Liam and Benjamin. I was going to say Liam. Benjamin. That's a cool name, actually. Benjamin's been a uh, I guess her name, my kid Liam. Okay, all right. All right. Well, well now we're going to pretend we're a news show. Okay, absolutely. Well, like yesterday, Chris, there was an accident at Great Northern Road in Second Line. You don't say. Line. Yes. And, and we had Nicole running out. Yes. Actually, she's picking up coffee from herself and my We had me. multiple people yeah. at the she's accident. She's sending in pics. Yes. And then Dan comes in all in a flurry. He's like, oh, he, he, um, well, there yes. was a half an hour standstill because yes. they shut the road down. So it was at the intersection of Great Northern Road and Second mm -hmm. Line East, right by the Leons and the fire department, actually. So they yeah. were able to uh, come out and help paramedics very quickly. Yeah. Upon arrival, they found two vehicles involved in the collision in the middle of the intersection. Like I said, two fire services were on scene to assist the paramedics. The traffic was heavy. I love Sioux St. Marie heavy traffic. It's yeah, it's awesome. heavy traffic yeah, it's for Sioux St. Marie. And, um, Go traffic. to Miami, then you'll know what heavy traffic is. <laughs> drive, drive to the T dot on yeah. a daily. It's not so one either. Traffic was restricted restricted for 30 minutes. Mm. Awesome sauce. Yes. Don't really know if um, what the cause or, um, of the collision was, so when we find that out, we will have that for you. And there were no injuries that we know of either. Alrighty. What else do we know though? We know that on the Michigan side, people are getting the vaccine. Good. So, um, their goal uh, for the state is to have 70% of uh, Michiganders over the age of 16 to be uh, vaccinated mm -hmm. uh, as quickly as possible. They started their new uh, first phases of the vaccination process yesterday. Uh, and then what they want to do is they want to vaccinate everyone who's 65 and over, mm -hmm. all the frontline essential workers, including police officers, first responders, frontline state and federal workers, also jail and prison staff, uh, all teachers from pre-kindergarten to grade 12, plus child care providers to daycare providers. Um, now, they are saying like in Michigan so far, 80% of the people who have passed away have been 65 or older. Um, and that's why uh, they have a couple different stages. So if you, you will be in stage one or phase one, A, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, if you work in a healthcare set setting providing direct or indirect um, uh, services or products to the, the people who are in, in that environment, whether it's a hospital or long-term care home, et cetera. Okay. Uh, the phase one B is 75 and older and frontline essential workers in critical infrastructure, such as transit, for example, they'll inoculate the, uh, or vaccinate the uh, bus drivers, so for example. So that makes sense, that makes sense. Uh, phase C is 16 and older, mm -hmm. um, especially anyone 16 or older that lives with someone who's vulnerable. And then phase two, uh, which is the final phase. I'm mm. not sure why they didn't go with phase one, two, three, four. They went four. phase one, A, B, C. And then yes, yes. Two, so yeah. then it makes it sound better if you're in phase two. Uh, and that's just basically if you're but 16 you're and phase older. <laughs> yeah, so 16 and older and breathing, uh, you're in phase two. Awesome. Which is really four phrase, phases, but welcome to politics. Hey, at least she has the plan. And man, yep. that, that Gretchen. And it's only two phases. Way to go. She's Got a good looking lady. Uh, I was commenting on her, her, her appearance yesterday. She carries herself very well. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that's besides the point. No, you're she's, there. Like, she's a very respectable politician, unlike others we know. She, okay, we're gonna here, go over to fire services response. Trump. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I had something stuck in my throat there. Fire service response to a lot of carbon monoxide calls over the weekend. Sioux Fire Service mm -hmm. crews responded to two calls of carbon monoxide related incidents within the city. Upon arrival, crews discovered notable amounts of carbon monoxide in each residence. The residents were each notified of the presence of the CO in their homes by working carbon monoxide alarms. So make sure that those are updated and tested and uh, true. With the winter season upon mm -hmm. us, it's important that all fuel be burning appliances in the home be serviced annually. Please remember that. Although snowfall has been limited thus far, it is important 
to remember that when snowfall amount increases, all residents should ensure that vents uh, for the homes are cleared out and cleaned regularly. Like I said, there were no injuries to report on either of those carbon monoxide incidents. So yep. um, thankfully they had working carbon monoxide alarms. And again, hopefully this is a PA for you to yep. go and check those. Every time your clocks change, just check your yeah. fire and uh, What happens when they take that away? What's going to be Well, that'll be just once a year. Like yeah, you'll well, have to figure I, something out. I, I, I need know. something. I need something. I know. When that's gone, I guess you could, I don't know. It's called Easter and Halloween. I was just going to say, why don't you Easter pick a season Halloween call it? Like the beginning of yeah. spring, the beginning of winter. Anyway. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Um, this is a, um, in one sense, not a good news story, and in another sense, a good news story. Ooh, you have it's me intrigued. It's unfortunate that we have to be in this situation, um, and oh, that yeah. is, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. we now have a... Uh, Recovery Center. A recovery center here in Sault Ste. Marie. It opened yeah. yesterday. It's called Recovery North. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, basically it's to help uh, individuals who are addicted to opioids, other stimulants, alcohol, mm -hmm. uh, and they're going to be provided with counseling, mental health support. Um, they will get tested for hepatitis C. They will have post-test counseling and aftercare treatment if they need it. Um, and they're accepting patients um, even through COVID-19. Transfers and stuff too, right? Yes. And it is uh, a walk-in. Yeah. Which means it, you do not need to have an appointment. You just mm -hmm. go, you line up. Yeah. Uh, they do have a doctor. Now the doctor is uh, by telemedicine and uh, mm -hmm. is it located in Sudbury. Okay. Uh, but you can have, uh, and then they obviously have uh, like methadone, for example. Yeah, they administer methadone and yeah. stuff. Now yeah. I know it's so run by it's, nurses it's, as it's, well. It uh, provides you with safe uh, products. Good. Basically. It's run by nurses and it's yes. on Queen Street. I don't have yes, the exact address, um, yeah. but we did do that report yesterday. Yes. So that, you're right. That is a good news, bad news story. But The good news is we're finally having some help here locally. Yeah. Um, That's awesome. Because we've seen uh, a real spike in even crimes related to people who yeah. are addicted to all yeah. different drugs. And, and so. there's a lot going on and that affects yeah. people's mental health too. Yes. So congratulations on that opening. Um, last night the mayor spoke to the community during city council and he um, commended the um, the way uh, Algoma Public Health is handling the is handling the uh, the outbreaks as well as any education um, the way the edu the board of I'm sorry I got thrown off there <laughs> the way the board handled the education I know like on Friday at 2:30 we received another change to how yeah. schools were going to look on mo Monday he did note that there are 10 to 14 delay from when people are testing positive he just wants to remind the community to please keep your distance stay home um, wash your hands don't touch your face he also mm -hmm. like I said he supported the decision by APH in regards regards to the schools. Um, he just in his final statements, he just wants to tell everybody he, he's remaining confident and optimistic that we can go back to our numbers um, getting lower, you know, instead of t on the upward trend. So thank you to Mayor Provenzano last night for, for that. And I guess we'll keep you um, updated on when APH did not release any numbers yesterday. Nothing from them. So silence. we're so. waiting to hear from that today. And once we receive those numbers, we'll write something up, have them I on mean, a newscast. Hopefully. And, uh, Hopefully, the reason we didn't get anything is because there are no cases. Yeah, because they, they actually have like when there's no cases, they don't. That's true too. Really. So God, he's so optimistic. Speaking I of, I am being optimistic here. Mm, yes. But you're not optimistic. No, I'm just kidding. Not normally. <laughs> How about you? How optimistic are you about the How's snowfall? Mr. Sunshine over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let the Pretty sun good. shine in. You know how they say uh, the weatherman's always wrong? <laughs> uh, well, actually, <laughs> not when it comes right to Chris. Thirty-one percent of the time. Oh, I'm, I'm hoping Which, I'm wrong. I'm hoping I'm wrong with the forecast yeah. for this weekend, oh, yeah. and I just may be because there's been some changes. But oh, good. Please I'll bring you that later on. Well, right now, we'll take a look at the outside shot, and looks a little gray out what there. The <laughs> <laughs> a little wow. icy. It's a windshield wiper. Got some uh, freezing drills happening. That should uh, leave us in the next couple hours. But then we have some nice weather coming. I'll give you those details coming up. Two one one. How can I help you? Hi, I'm really worried about my sister. She doesn't leave her house much. She doesn't even come to our family things. I barely see her smile anymore. Can you tell me a bit more about the situation? I think her husband might be... I, I don't know. Whenever he's around, she's nervous. Like, she doesn't want to make a mistake. Well, do you think that he might be hurting her? I think so. Okay. Let's figure out how we can help your sister.
message from the government of Canada. It's been a while since I've seen Joe. We were a couple of pranksters, and Joe was always full of surprises. But today, he's the one in for a surprise. The thing is, Joe doesn't live here anymore. For people living with dementia, getting lost can happen unexpectedly. Are you ready to help? Help people living with dementia live safely in our communities. Contact your local Alzheimer's Society and visit findingyourwayontario.ca. Welcome back to First Local. It is Tackle to Tuesday, January the 12th with Chris and Colette. Thank you, Casey Security, for your sponsorship, and thank you to the Huron Catholic District School Board. Huron Catholic Spirit District School Board. Board for your It's the one your kid goes to. <laughs> yes, it is. I actually had to ask you that the other day. I remember when I was filling out for my 200 bucks, I'm like, what school board is Dante at again? Oh, whatever. Yeah. I'm new here. Okay, not really. I can't Two say years, I can't okay. say that anymore. I'm yeah. not new here. Anyways, welcome back. Welcome back. Um, unfortunately, you know, if your name's not Noah, Liam, Lucas, Benjamin, Ethan, Olivia, Charlotte, Emma, Ava, Sofa, you are not popular for 2019. However, names. I do feel Colette will make a breakthrough for the next uh, mm. the next report. Anyway, um, we want to talk about the coldest night of the year. Now, this is a fundraiser that they do for the homeless, hurt, and hunger, and those experiencing that, like the St. Vincent's Place, Vincent's Place uh, yeah. um, who do a wonderful Pauline's, job. Yeah. So it's coldest night of the year. This this February, it's February the 20th. Now, typically, that would be a, a year, a night out, a year out, mm. no, not a year out, Colette, a night, night out, out, a yeah. night out in support of this uh, great effort. Um, this year we're doing they're doing virtual and they also doing this safe in person so virtually go register to um, coldest night of the year and you will be able to do any type of activity throughout the month of February you you record that send it in and you will get a toque branded with coldest night of the year if you choose to go and safe in person on February 20th another thing you have to do is register online for that because spaces are limited they're gonna have staggering start times mm -hmm. to keep in the guidelines for COVID-19 if you can attend that, you get chili, you get a face mask, and you get a toque, also branded. So we just wanted to make sure that everybody knows that that's coming up in February. We do have that on our upcoming events on our awesome events page on SueOnline.com. And social media love. Yes, also, easy way to remember the coldest night of the year, yeah. day after my birthday. <laughs> So that's it. everybody knows that. So yeah, everybody knows be, Chris. Yeah, it's a national able, holiday. It's February nineteenth. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. So yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Mine's January twenty fifth. Did you get me anything yet? No. Okay. Uh, the top fan Nicole says good morning. Top good fan morning, Kathy. Nicole. Good morning. Vanyo also top fan. Good morning. Tammy also top fan. Good morning. Evelyn. Good morning. Destiny. Good morning. Also top fan. Kathy Bowren says um, bless you. I I think that was from my. Trump sneeze. <laughs> oh. um, so thank you. I appreciate that. Um, you need all the blessings you yes, can get, I buddy. Do. Yeah. Uh, good morning from Margaret. Also your parents, Giselle and Eve, who's also a top fan too. So good morning, everybody. Good morning to you all. And then also good morning to Robert as well. So good morning to you good all. Good morning. Welcome. Yes. Thank you very much for joining us. And now we're going to hit the weather. Let's What's going what on, I Craig? Thanks guys. Well, we start today a little slippery with some light freezing drizzle that should uh, dissipate later on uh, this afternoon or this morning actually. Um, there will be pockets of it here and there. Watch where you're out uh, walking. Temperature is around one degree, but we won't hit that till about sometime this afternoon. And then it's going to stay fairly mild for the evening. We'll take a look at the overnight <laughs> Or actually, let's take a look at the satellite shot first. Really not a lot going on here. Here's the light freezing drizzle. Just some clouds off the, uh, off the lake uh, creating that. There is no really big system we're watching right yet, except for this one here. This is an Alberta clipper. Expected to come in uh, late Wednesday into Thursday. Could give us some snow. Uh, and then we're going to start seeing the temperatures drop. Uh, for the overnight low, uh, minus one here in the Sioux, minus two pretty much everywhere else, minus seven in Thunder Bay. That's where that cold air is right now. So let's take a look at your three day forecast for Wednesday. Cloudy conditions, temperatures plus two, only dropping down to minus three for the overnight. Snow coming in for Thursday. We could see five centimeters, but it's going to be wet. It's got a temperature of uh, 
plus one and plus one for Friday. Uh, the snow hangs on and again we could see uh, additional accumulation there but it's going to be wet snow before it starts to get colder and I'll give you all those details coming up at five o'clock. Colette and Chris have more show coming up after this. COVID-19 <laughs> is a serious health threat. When you touch things like gas pumps, door handles, or someone else's cell phone, you can spread the virus, even if you don't have symptoms. Don't put lives at risk. Wash your hands. Stay two meters apart. That's a distance of two arms lengths. And if you're sick, stay home to save lives. A message from the Government of Canada. The COVID-19 pandemic in Canada is serious. We must continue to practice all public health measures. Follow local guidelines for gatherings. Maintain physical distancing. Wash your hands, wear a mask, and download the COVID Alert app. If you have symptoms, even mild ones, stay home. Protect yourself and others. We've come too far to stop now. A message from the Government of Canada. Welcome back to First Local Mornings for Tuesday, January the 12th. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you to Elgo Marketplace. Make sure you hit them up uh, to get all your food. Also, make sure you check out the Huron Catholic Spirit District School Board if you want to put your kid in kindergarten. Uh, <laughs> you can click through from the, our website to the registration page or just go straight to the school board's page and click through the registration. Right. Let them know your kid's showing up in September. At least probably showing up on an iPad or something. Mm -hmm. but. Virtual or not, up, register probably. those kiddies. So, yes, and KC Security, thank you very much. So, what's so going on in sports? Roll Tide. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe I'm the only person in this office, the guy that knows literally nothing about sports, and I put Roll Tide on the sheet this he morning. He just a Roll Tide. Which, by the way, is what, uh, what Alabama fans say, Roll Tide. And no one in this office knew, well, everybody's like, what's Roll Tide mean? It means Are you done? Alabama. I was at the <laughs> national championship game a couple years ago between Clemson and Alabama. Uh -huh. Hence the reason I know the name Roll Tide. Chris is the new sports guy. Tomorrow I'm right going to bring in my Alabama hat even. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you wear a hat, like a baseball cap. You're going to see it tomorrow morning. I'm wearing my Alabama hat. Okay, listen. Alabama killed it. What's the score? Let's hear it. 54. 52. Oh, 52. 52. Who'd they play? Ohio State Ohio University. Ohio State University. Nick okay. Saban's seventh national championship. I'm so oh, yes. with let's you do right sports now. trivia I today, can't baby. Even Come it. on, let's go. More, okay. more Alabama trivia. It was their 18 national, national championship win last night. Okay. All right. Oh. You, you happy with that? Yeah. It is also the team to. Seventh under Nick Saban. It is also the team to Heisman Trophy. Recent, this year, Heisman Trophy winner Devonta Smith. So, um, this was a great game last night. Yes. Christopher apparently watched and it. And I didn't watch I, it. I'm I giving, just had alerts on my phone. I'm excited another, for you today. I don't even know fact. what to say. Okay. When Nick Saban left the NFL and went to college football, yeah. he got reamed on. Like, why would you go mm -hmm. to college football if you were coaching the NFL? Well, okay. he was already connected to Alabama University. Yeah. And he went and coached. And look now, 10 years later, he's got seven national championships. That's amazing. I'm really quite impressed with your, your uh, <clears throat> knowledge this morning. Anyways, yep. we're gonna roll tide. <laughs> we're just gonna say it. Okay, your turn. Roll tide. Uh, not really. Skate Canada cancels enough. two events, including national skating championships. Yeah, let's go to real sport now. Okay, figure skating. stop it. Skate Canada announced on Monday that the 2021 national skating championships and Skate Canada Cup have is this been, like the eight-year-old championship have been here? canceled. Listen, this is what they did. Okay. Oh, she's 15. That girl. Look at seriously? her go. Look at her go. I thought she was like eight. Did, did, look I how feel short like she's gonna she do is. something major right here. She's got a lot of spins and uh, and she's I'm not, not sure okay. what in the world Anyways, she's doing there. She just let me down there. Yeah. Okay, so the second wave of COVID-19 forced Skate Canada to hold the Skate Canada Challenge virtually this weekend. So what they did over the last few weeks is they recorded their athletes skate doing their programs and then um, uploaded that and had a tournament over the weekend by sending in re recorded uh, So recorded the judges skates. judge based on... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Roll Tide. We'll be right back after this commercial break.
Hi, Mike Holmes here with some advice that could save your life. I'm talking about radon. It's the number two cause of lung cancer in Canada. Radon is radioactive gas that comes from the ground. You can't see or smell it, but almost every home has it. The question is, how much? Protect your family, get your home tested, it's easy. And if you have high levels, a certified radon professional can reduce it for a reasonable cost. Make it right. Find out more at takeactiononradon.ca. 20 years ago, a little friend of ours got a lot of attention from Canadians. The idea of a tiny hippo that could actually be living in our homes got us talking about how easy it is to be fooled by what we see. Today, the internet is full of things that look just as real. In our digital world, we need to think smarter and double check before we believe anything we see. Find out how at breakthefake.ca. Oh my god. Welcome back to First Local on January the 12th. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. I'm Chris Holcomb with Colette and now we got our weatherman back. What's going on Craig? Well, what do you want to know? Uh, <laughs> what so is I'm up with on Chris Friday today? and Saturday, I would like to know the weather for those oh, things. Oh, I wish I had better news for you, oh, Chris. Okay. Uh -huh. Right now, it looks like snow and cold weather, but I mean, not as cold. I was just looking at the models, they are changing. So uh, maybe I'll have an update at five o'clock. Are, are we talking weather models or are we talking like a, a <laughs> weather <laughs> models? Yeah. Weather models. Okay, just the other models aren't here yet. Yeah. Yeah. Are, I don't Frank know. Frank is a weather model. Isn't yeah, yeah, Craig a weather model? Yeah. As you can see, there's lots oh, of snow. Oh sure. Now it's up. snow day before but look day of the day. I mean, they're not all that bad. <laughs> right? We're gonna we're gonna work on those temperatures and we're gonna work on some snow <laughs> oh. uh, coming up. But, um, we'll, we'll work on that for five o'clock. I absolutely am loving the fact that it's like two, one, no snow, I know. and then this idiot's gonna move, and it's <laughs> minus ten, minus thirteen. Snow, snow, snow. I told you. Oh, uh, Murphy's Law. Man, that's awesome. Thanks, Craig. Listen, commercial breaks are an opportunity for us to laugh some more, and we don't. And like mm -hmm. this guy tells me, he goes to the Clemens. Sorry, Clemens, I went to the Orange Bowl. The rollout. Which is, is just played in Miami, not, and no, it was not between rollout. Is it rollout? Roll tight. Roll between <laughs> Clemson and Alabama, and I bought a Clemson hat, an Alabama hat. They I wore both hats. Yes, I bought both hats, and I wore one in one half and one in the other. Nobody in their yeah. right mind does that. You, I did. you, you know what you did? You waited to see who was going to win, and then you were like, "Oh, I'm going to be a, a this this this." It fan. was unfortunate oh, for Clemson when I had their hat on. Let me put it that way. <laughs> it got even more unfortunate for them. You bought them the, bad luck, didn't you? I, it was even worse when I put the Alabama hat on. That's when they really got killed. <laughs> 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 I can't even go to Who South Carolina. And then I'm like, yeah. dude, Miami Dolphins, Miami Heat played down the street from you. No, no, Miami Heat plays American Airlines Arena, which is downtown Miami. Uh, okay, that's yeah. still where you were living. Why did you go to those games? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you were with Pitbull. You, didn't you meet Pitbull or went oh, to the tennis tournament? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, tennis. Was in, he was in the box next is to me. Is there anything you tournament. didn't attend in Miami? <laughs> well, well, did you did go to a bar? Tennis. I, I bet you, you did. Basketball, football. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Uh, and he bought okay. hats from oh, everybody's Oh, I went to name. a bunch of Panthers games, the Heat. Okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah, because it's, tickets are dirt cheap. Oh, well, that's good. I mean, you can go to a Panthers game for like 12 bucks. <laughs> Do you get a hot dog and a beer with that? And you get a hot dog, beer, and a, and a valet. Wow, that's And valet parking deal. by Lexus. Okay, listen, let's plug this weather photo here. Yes. All right, so um, <clears throat> send in your weather photos. <laughs> <laughs> There's the plug. <laughs> wow. What is it? And right there on TV weather at gmail.com is where you can send your weather photos of the day. Please send them. Make weather Daniel happy and send the photos in, please. Okay? Make weather yeah. Craig happy. He's the weather yeah, Daniel's sure. still a little upset He's, that Chris kicked yeah. his butt for the Christmas. Speaking of uh, weather, Destiny said every time she's moved, it's either rain or snow. Yes, well. Yeah. Yeah, Murphy's Law. <laughs> I'm so, yes. I think it's hilarious. Anyway, thank you for joining us today. Yes. I'll be back at 1 o'clock with Chris. I'm going to bring him on yes, at 1 o'clock Yes, we're going to talk today. lockdown with and Doug the Ford. Have a great morning.